Tonight, I'm going out, but not to a club or a bar, but to high-end coffee shops. There's a bouncer outside. Here in Saudi Arabia, they've become the go-to hotspot for nightlife. Alcohol is illegal here, which may be one reason why the coffee shop culture is on fire. The older generation wearing the more traditional, and the younger generation. Wow, valet for a coffee shop. First, I'm meeting up with Fahad to go to this brand new trendy pizza place. Then I'm going to this luxurious area where they sell high-end cereals. And finally, I'm meeting a guy who quit his job in finance to help open a trendy coffee shop. So what is it like to spend a night out in Saudi Arabia? Is this KFC? Yeah, KFC. This place looks very hip, Fahad. Yeah. What is it? It's pizza. It's new. Pablo. I'm at a really trendy pizza place called So Much Mo Pizza and it just opened one month ago and as you can see the design is just red everything and it's actually kind of cool. I've never been to a place, especially a pizza place, that has a vibe quite like this. Free video games and uh, just a really cool atmosphere. Yeah, I didn't know a Saudi woman would wear like a t-shirt and a hat like that. Would you see that in Riyadh? Yeah. Maybe it's coming like a Vegas. <laughs> oh, that looks amazing. I feel like I'm in a club. Uh, yeah. That music. <laughs> Fahad says that um, he came here just a couple days ago and the line was 45 minutes just to get in. Wait, what happened to the music? Prayer time. Oh, prayer time. They stop the music for a part of the prayer time until we finish. Oh. Just like the stores close in the mall, everywhere closes yeah, yeah, five yeah. times a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The owner of that pizza place is a woman and she opened multiple places here in this area as well. And food has always been a big deal. Going out to eat has been a big deal in Saudi for decades now because if you haven't been able to go to concerts or movie theaters or uh, bars or clubs, then food becomes your form of entertainment. And I'm pretty surprised to see all these like really cool, trendy looking new eateries. You've got a mac and cheese place, you got a place called Snack and Such, you got a keto kitchen. Look at that, keto kitchen. Traditionally, young Saudis loved the American staples the Domino's, the chilies, the IHOPs. But now, more and more, it seems yeah. like homegrown Saudi places are coming, yeah? Yeah, are coming Saudi brands and they destroy the market. <laughs> <laughs> How does that make you feel? Feel proud. Actually, all I feel proud. And uh, the future, inshallah, will be more good. I like the sala. Wow, valet for a coffee shop. We've just arrived to this incredibly trendy looking place. It even has valet parking and it's only been open for about a year, but it really looks like a, a very, very trendy place. Um, and it's predominantly coffee shops. So it's super interesting. You see the older generation wearing the more traditional 
and then the younger generation wearing their own clothes. Hi. Uh, for two, table. Even for inside? How long is the outside? How long? There is a bouncer outside, uh, and there's a guest list, a wait list. Um, it's really quite the scene for a coffee shop. Ooh, that sounds so good. Oh, you see the Chips Ahoy, yeah, I know Chips Ahoy. This one is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yummy. <laughs> okay, go ahead. This milk. Thanks, guys. Six dollars forty cents. This is delicious. Delicious. Why does it say single section? This is back in days. Yanni, no women. Yeah. No, the, the other section. Oh, uh, yeah. like women has to go through another part. See Abdul Rahman. Thank you, bro. Hmm? Upton. You were working in like finance and you left to start coffee. Shop. It's been awesome. I mean, like uh, uh, everyone started thinking about it, uh, or going into uh, coffee industry, telling customers about coffee and specialty coffee. What is it like, especially for people like in America, you know, who don't understand maybe this part of the world? I feel it'd be a lot easier if they show up here. Now. Just visit Saudi Arabia and then go. They know everything about us. And seeing the oil, okay, I have money now. No, you have money now, but tomorrow maybe you will not have it. Mm -hmm. you, you have to think about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You have to th think about the future. Because we, we are just living now, we are living tomorrow and our sons, the new generation will live. So we have to think about them. Mm -hmm. That's what he did. Um, this is the life. The religion, this is uh, your choice, not my choice. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not judging you. The human city, and it doesn't matter about your religion because this one, uh, that uh, between you and the God, not between me and you. Mm -hmm. We are all human.